Who wins? Who loses? European imperialism in Africa and Asia. Some victims in Asia were China and India. It was quite difficult to take over China due to China being in solitude and refusing to open any ports to the Western countries. But later, the Western countries had forced China to open 11 ports and then later on, 12 ports. Thus, the Westerners came in and took over official office posts. Europeans had imposed imperialism onto these two countries due to selfish reasons such as wanting resources for economic and socialist reasons. They had grabbed stuff and gained stuff from forcing this imperialism onto these countries. What they gained was all by their own benefit, by forcing and making other countries yield to them, by force if whatever it took for selfish reasons. They tried to go after every country, including Japan, but Japan had fought against and Japan be had became its own imperializing st country it was. The Europeans were not the only country to imperialize, and so were the Japanese. Imperialism in Africa was one of the events called the Scramble for Africa. There was economic motives. The Industrial Revolution created an insatiable demand for new markets and raw materials. Nationalism was a cause. European nations wanted to demonstrate their power and prestige to the world. The white man's burden. Since its superiority made them feel obligated to civilize the heathen savages they encountered and called so, they, this led to the scramble of Africa. Hi, my name is Nakaya Rebels. Um, I'm being interviewed by Yaslin. So, how do you feel on the event of European imperialism on Asia and Africa? I feel like the events were very crucial in a lot of ways, and they were more bad than good. What do you think that Africans and Asians could have done? I feel what they could have done was work together because I feel as if someone may have known that one way or another, someone else was having the same thing happen to them. And I feel like if they would have just worked together instead of trying to get mad at each other for the way another race was treating them, they would have won sooner than later. Do you think while this imperialism was happening to these places, was it happening in other places? I do believe so. I believe that they didn't just pick on one race, they picked on multiple because it was more of a white supremacy thing than, you know, bring cultures together, what they like to say. What do you think the Europeans' mindset was on why they believe they should do this? I believe that their mindset might have been land is power and power equals money. Could you like back up why you think that? I believe land is power because with more land comes more colonies, and with more colonies comes more money, which all reverts back to land. Could you like tell me, how do you think imperialism affected the Asians and Africans? I feel imperialism affected them because mainly it took away their source of righteousness almost. It's more like they took away something that was a part of them and a part of who they were as individuals, not even as a group. Because if you think about it, imperialism is all about mind control. With mind control, you control everything. You control actions, you control the thought process. It's more just, it controls a lot of things. So when Europeans came over to you know, give them this new information. It was only information they wanted them to know in order to control them. Okay, sure. So, how do you think people are being imperialized today? Um, well, it all reverts back to school. Like, with, like, the education system, as you may know, private school kids already know about all this. But the private school kids grow up to be the rich kids, and the rich kids are always the ones who know more than the rest of us. So I feel like we're being imperialized because if you attend a private school, you understand the ways of how imperialism was back then. And if you grow up to know it now, you're more likely to become a more successful businessman. Unlike our educational schools, which is public schools and you know things like that, 
we don't get taught as much as a private school would. As a public school, we're considered more middle class, lower class. And because of that, we're, it's more like if you revert back to when imperialism was a really bad thing. Back then, the private school kids were considered the imperialist and we were considered the, in the public schools, we were pretty much considered the African and Asian people. So pretty much we were all just separated, but it was through power. So I feel public schools get taught less because of, you know, us not having the funds that a private school would get. How do you think imperialism is today? Like, how what happens, what, what's going on? Like, where are they doing it, do you possibly think? I feel like they do it everywhere, honestly. Um, I don't believe there's specific areas where they do it anymore. I just feel like it's an all-around thing. They just have different strategies to it. So how do you feel about the government being secret? And basically, do you feel that is imperialism, how they control? I do, but you only give someone so much power because in our amendment, it says that we can take over the government if we wanted to. But not everyone has the thought process to ever think that. So they pretty much don't teach us a lot about our amendment. And they don't really teach us about a lot of things in school anymore. So really, it's not teaching us to think for ourselves, nor think about our amendment, our constitution rights. It doesn't give us that because we feel the police officers know everything. In your life, how many times has a teacher ever told you about amendments? I've been told at least twice, and it was in middle school. And it was only because I wanted to know, not because they taught us specifically, but because I wanted to know what our amendment was like. Do you feel the curriculum now today for schools is done by the Europeans? Yes, because pretty much white people control all of our schools. That's why we have private schools, because it's more private. Not a lot of people are able to get into it unless you're rich, which causes pretty much separation, which was like back then feel about imperialism? Imperialism is actually pretty bad. They did a lot of wrong things. Like what? For instance, they did torture, took away culture, make them opinionized. It was bad what they did to the Africans and Asians. Could you tell us as to what they did if you were too tired to work anymore? If you were too tired, they would usually punish you in a cruel way throw you in kind of something. They had dogs that would come after you too, and they just find the best way to make you and force you work with them. Now, what was the reason for cutting off their hands when they were too tired to work? Cutting off your hands? That reason was more of a, how do you say it? Controlling, it's more domesticating. So they're trying to force it on them by showing them fear that if they don't do what they want, they'll kill them. Who are the real, who lost and who won in imperialism? Like, who are the real winners well, and the losers? There's a kind of different win and lose. In some sense, winning would be to the Asians and Africans because they finally got them to get out. But if we're going to talk imperialized wise, it would be the Europeans because Asians and Africans lost their culture, their people, and their ways. For how long? This happened during the late 1800s to the early 1900s, but it went on way longer. Do you still feel like we have some errors in our ways of imperialism? We have errors because what we do is not us. We stole from other countries, the U.S. Do you feel America should be great again? No. no. As Why not? We've done... Think about it. America has done the most wrong in this country, in the world. Do you still feel like we have imperialism today? Yeah, we do. In we, what ways? Like, think of it. In the U.S., we're strong. over here being a citizen. We don't have any power. We're just being told what to do from people that actually have power. Well, don't people technically have power because we put people in the position of power? Yes, but that's false because only some votes matter. It, the citizen votes don't matter. There's uh, certain votes that matter. Do you feel like votes get hacked? 
Do you feel as if imperialism was more so complicated than normal? It was complicated, but in a way it was normal because they took what was normal and made it more complicated. Do you feel as if you went back in time and told the Africans before Europeans had came to enslave them, do you think they would believe you? They probably wouldn't because they didn't know what would happen until it actually happened. And they trusted them, so I don't think they would. Do you think trust is a virtue? Yeah, trust is a virtue. It does matter because it can guarantee your life, it can secure other people's lives, and it can make up your future. Do you believe that black is considered a devil color or do you think white is considered a devil color? I'd rather say it's actually none. Color doesn't even matter. Would you say that in our schools we're taught to learn a certain way because of what may have happened back then? Yeah, we're taught to learn a certain way because it's like the lion and the hunter, like we've been taught. It's the winner is always the one writing history. The loser doesn't get a say. So we're being taught what the winner wants us to know. Do you feel if everyone knew about this information that the world would become better? It would because people would start to see the flaws and actually try to do something instead of just letting themselves be in control. My name is Yoselin and I'm being interviewed on imperialism. Do you feel cultural appropriation was made because of the imperialism that happened before? Culture appropriation? Now I feel it was made as a kind of, like, let's satisfy them with this for a little bit because of what they did. Yosa Carpio and I'm being interviewed on imperialism. Do you feel cultural appropriation was made because of imperialism? I do feel it was like that because it was a kind of be satisfied with this and let go of what we did to you, but I don't think they should let go of it. Can you explain what cultural appropriation is? Cultural appropriation, basically in short terms, is if you're black, be black. If you're Asian, be Asian. Don't try to be white. Be yourself, like kind of who you are. Do you feel cultural appropriation is a separation in society? I don't think it's a separation, but more of a you're actually getting more connected with what you really are. Do you feel cultural appropriation is needed in the world today? I do think it's needed because when imperialism happened, Europeans took their culture and their ways and kind of made them forget who they were. Do you feel everyone wants to be another culture because they don't like the way their culture works? Well, I don't necessarily think it's because they don't like the way their own culture is. I think it is because their mindset was programmed by the Europeans to be like them and not themselves. Do you feel that if you, we lived in the time of imperialism, that we would, as young as a younger generation, would end it quicker? I feel like we would. If we knew the knowledge we knew today and knew what they did wrong, we could have we could have done something. Like we could have tried our best and we could have made a difference. What would you like to tell the viewers about imperialism? Imperialism is. If you look it up, they're not going to give it to you hardcore. They're going to try to sugarcoat it and everything, make it seem like it was good, but it really was not. Imperialism is a try to take over, control whatever you don't have, make your own reign, sovereign kind of, like just take over in general. Do you feel that there is a way today that, that we act that makes us angry about what happened before? Yes, I feel from imperialism of what happened, we all still have scars. Like We still remember it deep down, even though we were actually there. There's something like left on us from that time. Do you feel that it makes us angrier that we know about our background, or do you feel it makes us more open-minded to how the world is? It really depends on what kind of person you are. Sometimes it makes them open-minded, and sometimes it just makes them angry. People who generally think good of the world usually become angry. People who see the flaws will become more open-minded. Do you feel open-minded people will run the world more than the people who are closed-minded? In general, yes, they will, because they see things more clearly than the closed-minded people who would get angry easily, because they think of all situations and how everybody must have felt.